Hello Miners! It is time for another DRG update and we are back with a new rundown. Welcome to Season 4, Critical Corruption. Though we have gained great ground against the rampaging lithophage in the past months, it remains a constant threat on Hoxies, despite our best efforts. And to make matters worse, reports of alarming new mutations are starting to come in. It is clearly reacting to our presence, and our endeavors are getting even more hazardous moving forward. Let's get right into it. The bad news first. The play cards you have encountered previously have evolved. They will now turn into lithophage corruptors, ravenous, fully mobile abominations that spread rock pox wherever they go. They appear impervious to normal gunfire, so you will need to use the cleansing equipment to get through their exterior shells and expose their soft inner core. Be advised, the lithophage corruptor is no pushover and will fight back to defend itself. Walk with care, miners. Furthermore, several more strains of Hoxie's wildlife have succumbed to the rock pox and gotten infected. You can now expect to meet infected Macterra bombers as well as infected Nadocyte breeders. Just lovely. Be on your guard as always, as these new variants will be even more hostile than usual while also propagating the spread of rock pox. As if that wasn't enough, Hoxie's itself seems to fight back in its usual way by spewing out yet more ghastly creatures from far below. Scanners report sightings of two new monsters. The Glyphid Stingtail is a powerful, heavily armored beast. It has a grabbing tail capable of incapacitating any enemy and goring them against its massive horns. Mind yourselves around this one. Meanwhile, the Glyphid Septic Spreader is a malicious cousin of our old friend, the Glyphid Spitter. This one fires heavy globules of rancid biomatter, which spread out in a wide area around impact. Just another day on Hoxies, I suppose. But as always, our enemies are not the only ones to adapt. R&D has come up with a little something-something we expect you'll enjoy. Jet Boots. You will now be able to recover crates of high-powered jet modules in the caves. Attach these to your boots and turn them into fully functional jet boots, giving you a much-needed leg up during any hardships you may encounter. Just, um, consider wearing a helmet, perhaps. Back home, a bit of redundant machinery has been cleared out, opening up the space rig a bit more, which handily allows plenty of space to install a training terminal for the coded locks you will encounter on the jet boot crates. It would appear some smart Alec has seen fit to build an arcade cabinet to fit it into. At the Abyss Bar, enjoy a delicious new brew, the Randovisor. This potent ale reportedly instills a sense of adventure and lust for challenge in whoever drinks it, causing questionable decisions in regards to equipment loadout and uniform. Apparently, finishing missions using these loadouts has become a bit of a fad. Well, I wish you luck. At the loadout terminal, a new option to randomize all your gear and upgrades has also become available, enabling you to quickly set up challenges for yourself. Why would anyone do this? Well, never let it be said, we do not wish to enable our employees. Meanwhile, in your wardrobe, your armor has now come with a new option. Toggle between sleeveless versions of all your own sets at will. Summer is almost upon us, after all. And capping all of this off is of course this season's new season pass. An all new cosmetic tree and 100 new levels of gear, victory moves, weapon frameworks and crafting materials to unlock, with all the usual script challenges to go along with it. And as always, anything you may have missed in previous seasons will simply go into the existing loot pools, so nothing is going away forever. To commemorate the release of the season is of course also a new cosmetic pack up for purchase. The Decontaminator Pack features a brand new weapon framework to go with our previous DLC pack of armors. Combating a lethal pandemic has never looked sexier. That is it, miners. Season 4 is upon us. Suit up and get to work. We've got quotas to meet. Welcome to Critical Corruption. This is Mission Control, signing off. Rock and Stone. DRG is always finding ways to drain our wallets.